Aloha, YouTube. This is your boy, Crypto Roots and Everything Currency. This is the Elon Marley Podcast. And this is what? Episode 11, bro. Episode 11. Episode 11. Been? Nice, been, man. Brother? Good. Chilling. How you been, man? Man, just grinding, grinding, grinding. Always on the DeFi game. Always on the crypto game. Always. You got to be. For real. Um... I, I'm so used to it now. Like you, for all the people who get into this, this is, they're not used to studying. They're not used to reading articles, watching videos, you know, discuss this, you know, so it seems like a lot of work for them, but this is my lifestyle. So it just seems like everyday shit, you know? And that's, that's what happens when you get accustomed to learning, you know, for, cause that's all you do. That's all you do in crypto. You learn something new every day or you, you should be learning something new every day in crypto. Yeah, you definitely right. should. Like people, it's like I've been having a lot of new people like ask me like, you know, beginner questions. And I'm like, bro, I've been so deep into this thing. I don't even know where to start to tell you. Like, you got to go back, 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 back from everything that I've been researching over the past years. You know, it's crazy. And and that's the thing with the mentorship. People want to get straight to the money. And of course, like, yeah, we're going to get straight to the money. But we got to go over a few things. First of all, how is the transaction even being processed? Most people don't even know that. Let's get straight to the money, but you don't know what is a block, right? You don't even know what is a minor. Like, so we got, we, there's a lot to go over. So it's kind of hard, not hard. It's, it's a bit challenging to try to, you know, package that all together, get you caught up with the past, the present, and potentially, you know, what could potentially be the future. So, um, you know, mentorships are, are, you know, a little work of art when it comes to a person learning. Yeah, definitely. Because it's all about, you know, for me, it's like you tailor that mentorship to that person. Everybody has a different story. They got a different lifestyle. They got a different reason to invest. They got a different amount to invest. You know, like the amount that you have to invest plays a yes. big part on the moves that you're going to be making. So a lot of times you see people, they just think, Oh, you know, I can watch a bunch of YouTubers and make the same moves as them when it's like, bro, you don't really know, you know, what type of money that they're sitting on for them to be making those moves and, and how that matches up with your situation. You know what I mean? So that's like something that, you know, really, yeah. really needs to come into account. You know? And for all the new people who don't, Everybody has their own interpretation of what is a lot of money. And until you get a lot of money, you realize you don't have a lot of money. Right. So it's just this whole like, you know, ladder of, you know, and so stop trying to count niggas pockets, especially mm -hmm. YouTubers mm -hmm. and just focus on your own because there's a lot of YouTubers that can fuck up and lose a lot of money, get right. rug pulled or ape into some shit like, you know, and then you're in a better position than they are with your $50 investment, right? When they just, I mean, we've seen grand. it happen. We've seen it happen <laughs> with, in a lot with of eminence. Yeah. We've seen it happen with a lot of these DeFi projects where you just seen people saying, Whoa, bro, like I got completely wrecked for a major amount and they're public about it, which I applaud that they ain't, they ain't lying about what's going down, you know? Yeah. But it did happen uh, to a lot of people, you know? Yeah. So we always want to avoid those situations and the way you avoid those situations is to control your excitement, to control your greed and, you know, jump in the dive, j jump in the deep end with the rubber ducky float. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, if there's so a new, go ahead. Let's just jump right into that. You know, like what, like the excitement part about it, you know, things are getting really, really exciting in the, in this whole crypto game again. And, you know, Controlling your excitement is probably going to be one of the things that, that makes or breaks you, you know, when it comes to investing into DeFi or crypto or even just Bitcoin in general. And also, what's the opposite of excitement? What will be the opposite emotion? What, anger? <laughs> right? Anger. Uh, anger, frustration, impatience. Let's, let's, let's focus on that. Impatience. So the excitement and the impatience, like, so when whatever it comes together. Evolves, yeah, I guess that's yeah. true. You know, I'm not so, trying to yeah, say like excitement what, is bad, but you know, like if you have, it, if you're, in, it can be bad. If you're and impatiently opposite, excited, you know, yeah, that's, story. yeah, yeah. I so, I, so I recommend people to listen, in my opinion, to Jordan Peterson, 
to start studying psychology. I've said this before, but you, psychology is such an endless, like, you know, philosophy. All that really does go and apply. And, you know, the way I look at it is like, what kind of lifestyle do I want to live? Right. You know, and based on the lifestyle I want to live, then that can kind of like, kind of shape how you invest. And I know it's kind of all vague, but like, you know, first of all, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So let's talk about pro- this, you know, this is getting into financial invest and everything, but let's talk Good. about pr- production and consumption. Right. Okay. And what, what a lot of financial YouTubers talk about because it works for their benefit because it gets a larger audience is always redu- reducing your consumption. You're going to hear a lot of financial YouTubers talk about you, you know, spend less this, don't go out as much. You don't need this. And all that has to do with lowering, lowering your consumption, which yeah. is how much money you're spending on things. So, mm-hmm. and that works, but very few YouTubers are even talking about upping up your production as well yeah. as lowering your consumption, because it doesn't work for a lot of uh, financial YouTubers benefit to talk about stepping up your production because that's hard work because not everyone makes it because you know that not everyone has a great, but if you are a good producer and you know how to produce more, then, and you, you're all, you know, it works both ways. So I'm always going to be talking about producing, producing, yeah. producing. And because you have to I have feel- that mindset. You have to have that mindset to produce. You have to have that mindset to say, hey, you know what? I need to bring value to this. Not and- just like, hey, how am I going to get rich? Like, how could I bring value to it? And And have the mindset that, you know, you can provide value. A lot of people don't think they can. You know I mean, people don't talk about That's, that enough. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a, a mindset, spiritual thing that, you know, I think I tweeted out the other day because I noticed that like, you know, I had some friends who literally like, bro, they bought Bitcoin at 18,000, you know, in the last bull run, you know, bought $10,000 worth of Bitcoin and just watched it drop. And was every time they, saw me was talking shit to me like bro about that bitcoin shit you was talking about you know that that i'm i'm down bro i'm down bro as soon as they get back up i'm selling and when it got back up to eighteen thousand, this fool sold and i was like wow bro like you literally sat through and and didn't learn anything you didn't learn anything about the potential you didn't you didn't learn how to throw that into like ren btc or rap btc and like get you some interest back like you didn't learn how to do nothing and the fact that he tried to mock you and and, and insult you right he's coming out every day and i'm like look bro like you're down but i've been making money this whole time (laughs) and and it's not even just the money you didn't even take the time to learn about the technology if, yeah. if a person were to take the time to learn about the technology and the price went to sell down, I'm like, thank you for showing me this amazing piece of technology, regardless of the price. Look, for so me, like it- when the price went down, when I got in and I got in like right before it really had a nice peak and then it just dropped from all that, you know, like I got in right before the bull run and then just watched it all drop. And what I learned was I need to learn what's going to happen for the next time. <laughs> like Absolutely. I need to learn why this is happening. I need to be ready next time because next time it does that, I want to make sure I have a lot more than three hundred dollars thrown in there. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. What are you doing, man. bro? Absolutely. Yeah, everyone's gonna, you know. Um, I just don't think many people will come out of this game confidently on top with the just. I don't know. For some reason, people just have like that guy you just told me, like that's such a negative attitude to have. Like it's not about the dot USD evaluation of what the Bitcoin, right? You could have just, it's about how much Bitcoin you have, like, yo, accumulate more, get right. more. Like people don't under, they're not, they don't get stack and stats, right. stack and stats. They don't get the fact that it's Bitcoin is the new world money. Like things stack are denominated. Yeah. Is like, things are denominated in Bitcoin now. <laughs> like, you know, how much Bitcoin, I mean, if you, how much a Bitcoin is, is that going to cost me? Like you could literally start, they got, uh, somebody made a website of, uh, 
Lamborghinis, how much coins would cost? It, it was like coin market cap, but price all priced in Lamborghinis. Price of Lamborghinis, yeah. Actually, coin, I think Car Market Cap did that one time in a uh, on April Fool's Day. They had a little tab. You know how you can switch between Bitcoin, USD, or whatever. They yeah. had la- they had yeah. Lambo, and it oh, was yeah, like, yeah. and it yeah, was yeah, like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. two Lambos, or this is one fourth of a Lambo. Like, so. Be- People out there, be careful pricing everything in U.S. dollar terms. I know yeah. if that's all we know, mm-hmm. but yeah, we know that the U.S. dollar is on its last leg, and the beast will fight fight to have uh, the dollar around. And yeah, now, let's, get into, let's get into it. 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 These new regulations. These new regulations. Oh, what's bro? the regulation part? I thought you were going to talk about that digital dollar that they're trying to push out now. Oh no, no. Well, we we can get into that, but I'm talking about the Stable Act. You heard of that? Oh, uh, I heard they want to. They want to uh, make sure they want to make sure that any body, any centralized authority that issues uh, um, c- centralized stable coins has to get a banking license. Oh no no no! Be- How about because the one- it's going to hurt because <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's going to no. hurt brown people. It's going to hurt black people, minorities. Bruh, let you. Uh, How about the one where they said um, all non custodial wallets have to perform KYC? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like. Yeah, and and then uh, the other dude just uh, recently, it was like two days ago. Uh, this dude was like, uh, "We're gonna we're gonna shut down Ethereum and da 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 da." And then he found out what it was about, and then he's like, "All right, we we can we can uh, all the nodes that are validating transactions are gonna have to KYC the stablecoin transactions individually, and Get and we can and, and 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 we'll also prosecute the developers." So okay. this dude came out, uh, yeah, like came out against DeFi. Said we're gonna just shut it all down. Once yeah. they, once he realized we can't shut it down, he wants to make sure that anybody validating blocks from a, a centralized authority, uh, USDC, ha- has to KYC that particular transaction. No, that he's in that case, one. bro. He's in that case. And, he's he uh they, he provide he pulled some legislation like that two years ago, bro, where he tried to say that I don't care if it's decentralized, I'm gonna arrest the devs. And yeah, like, like prosecute good, good, the developers. Yeah. Good luck trying to arrest a emoji hacker, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> like, you're not bro, gonna all find these, like all that. these fucking chef nami's and uh, right, you're not gonna find chain, those guys. Like, those guys can link. steal. They're gonna steal four hundred million and get away. You think you're just gonna catch them like that? Like, um, one second, one second. And not just that, yeah, you're going to arrest, what, all the developers around the world at the same time? Like, you've got to be shitting me. You're going like, to arrest Microsoft, just... and you're going to arrest Google? For you're, real. You're going to arrest Citibank, because they're all building on it too, bro. Like, what are you talking about? For real. You know what I mean? That's why it's, so, it's just crazy. Like, so, we still have people in Congress who don't know nothing. They, they're just concerned I mean, about whatever's been going on. No, yeah, you're, you're, you're taking away, once you take away that U.S. dollar, you take away people's sense of power, bro. People's sense of power. And because they know for them, it's already too late to get in the crypto game. So how dare you take away my last meal? Because I know that by the time I get to your meal, it's already going to be gone. The prices are already going. So they're going to, they already see their, their sense of power vanish from them within the next few years if they don't take drastic measures now. Yeah, no, they're not stupid. They're not stupid. See, the thing that people don't realize about the U.S. government as well is like there you got some of the smartest people working up in there. U.S. government seized. They went on a seizing spree of seizing Bitcoin. So U.S. government and then they paused a lot of the auctions where they were auctioning off the Bitcoin. First, they would seize all this Bitcoin, like from the Silk Road and stuff when they auctioned it off. That's how Winklevoss got it, you know, but um they oh really? Up, yeah, they That's ended they up. They ended up starting to. Yeah, they got it from the U.S. Uh, you know, all the all the. I don't know if it was all only yeah, from, yeah, the, the, from the Silk Road, Road yeah. but it was yeah. from a lot of the, you know, from yeah, a lot of the web. stuff they say seized. So, um, you know, they started. They stopped auctioning that off. Like, okay, we need to. We need to hodl now. <laughs> That's oh, what I felt. I felt like they. Said, Everybody hodl, wants this shit. Yeah, uh, so we give, like, we giving a hint. So yeah, I mean. You're not gonna see the beast go out easy, bro. You're not. You're not. So, yeah, um, it will get pretty, pretty, pretty nasty, you know. So, I'm sure like the main developers, such as Andre, such as Hayden Adams, right. such as some of these guys that are actually public. I mean, I'm sure they've got all their lawyers 
all set up. This person isn't doing anything, you know, like they can set it up. This person is simply writing software code. You have no idea that this, what this person has actually written or not. And, you know, da, 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 da. I'm sure yeah, they, see, they the got thing, some. The U.S. The U.S. is all about intimidation. So they'll go ahead and they'll arrest, like you said, the Hayden Adams, the, the Andres. They'll go and arrest those guys, the Vitalics, and try to make them like examples you know, they'll try to be like, hey, yeah. you know, he has a problem with the U.S. now. You don't want to mess with that stuff. You know, and they want to sway all the kids who want to learn about developing. Like, you don't want to learn about that stuff. You know, so that's more of what the U.S. be on, to be honest with you. Like, and so, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's, it's FUD. It's all FUD. Right. And it'll, it'll, keep, it'll keep a that's lot of people said, away know. for a while until those people are desperate. Because all this is really meant to just, you know, obviously alienate people and keep them away from a financial freedom. Like that's what it, they're disguised it as. That's how the beast works. I'll disguise it as protecting you while it's all it's all meant to harm you. Like the entire exactly, process. exactly. Like go home early at night because yeah. you won't catch a virus that way. You know what I yeah. mean? Like it's some yeah. shit I mean, like that. Oh yeah. You know oh yeah. Don't even get I don't even <laughs> your, your state, bro, is on another fucking like wall. I won't even go into it, bro, but go your home state. early at night because the virus is gonna stay away from you. No, what, what's the said. that's but that, not only is that bad, but the worst one, and this is going off from the crypto shit, but you can't sing. Do oh, not yeah, sing again. Do not sing. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers will catch COVID if y'all niggas start singing. No, nah, you don't didn't, you didn't see the uh Put your mask on after every bite. What the fuck? And put your mask on after every bite at Thanksgiving dinner and then spend a longer time in between bites. <laughs> Yo, man. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just, I, I, I can't believe how far, like, all right, that's a whole another topic. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. Let's get back so, to crypto. All yeah. right, man, we got free money, man. Like, we got free, free money. money. Birdman, Birdman money hands. We got Bro, free whatever. money, man. And whatever it's free money it's, comes in. It's, it's almost reliable. It's not reliable about the source because you never, because, you know, but it's reliable that it's just a matter of time before we qualify for some more free money. If you're in the DeFi game, if you are an active user, mm -hmm. and if you are an active voter, investor, trader, liquidity, somehow, mm -hmm. some way, you're mm -hmm. gonna qualify for some mm -hmm. fucking free money, dude. Look, and any decentralized project, that even goes for Bitcoin because Bitcoin is decentralized too. So if Bitcoin forks or if somebody thinks they want to fork Bitcoin, free money, you know, free tokens. Absolutely. You know. When I first heard that, I'm like, yo, uh, this shit is nuts, bro. Yeah. I was, I like, was yeah. like, wait, what? Like, I'm going to get some and, Bitcoin cash. Like, and, 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 and <laughs> the response was, no, they have to give it to you. That's how it works. The response was like, no, it's yours. It's yours already. You got to claim, you got to just have <laughs> oh, them get oh. your tokens. Like, wait, what? You know, people were trying Man. to sue Coinbase. Like, yo, I need my tokens. I know you got them. You got the private keys. I know you got them. Yeah, that's you know, why you got to own your private keys, man. That's, that's why you one. have to own your private keys. Yeah, facts. Um, so here's the pattern I'm noticing, though. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Not only do you get paid to vote on some projects, right? You get you, you stake it and you vote, you get some rewards back, Wi-Fi especially. Right. But you, you are getting paid from other currencies for voting. So you you didn't even have to vote on this one. No, you voted on that one. Not only did you get paid for that oh, one, yeah, you voted, yeah, yeah. but you're going to get an additional token for voting on that one. Because right. why? Because we are trying to market to a particular audience, such as DeFi, SushiSwap users, mm. Yearn users. Like We are trying oh. to get them on our side as early and soon as possible. So if you voted and got money on your shit, we're going to give you another free money because it's great marketing. What Badger yeah. Dollars did is great, right. great Just marketing. Just like what you needed. It's great marketing. It gets the word out. Like, people are going to make videos about it. And check this out. Just because you made it this far in the podcast, I'm going to let you know the whole list of who qualifies because it's not only about voting. If you if you participated in sushi governments, you supplied or borrowed uh, WBTC on Compound, MetaCardal members deposited ETH on AVE, Yearn Finance, if you did anything with that, Yam, if you did anything with that, if you ever minted WBTC, Ren BTC, SBTC, Laos, Lao members, I don't even know what that is, deposited 
ran or SBTC and curve and it did anything with one hive, which is the whole sushi swap or X die or stake, uh, provided liquidity of WBTC and ETH on balancer, also on Uniswap, DoorDAO, you minted TBTC, you participated in Harvest Finance, Gatecoin. Uh, there's a lot more ways. So just go on the website and check to see if you got something to claim. You might have something on there. Yeah, I was worried I didn't qualify, but um, praise God, I did, you know? Yeah. Because um, yeah. uh, everyone, yeah, I don't deal with many, uh, I don't deal with Curve a lot. I don't deal with stable coins a lot. Yeah, a lot of people deal, deal with, with Curve. Though, a lot. Yeah, a lot of people deal with Curve and, and uh, you know, they mess with the, you know, the different DAOs and stuff like that. So yeah, I just wanted to throw it, that out there. You realize how big of a universe this is when you're like, yo, wait, what the fuck? Huh? You know, all these like pie down, all these, and you know, you realize like, yo, that, cause it's like East Coast, West Coast thing. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm investing on like this shit. <laughs> That's a whole nother shit I don't know nothing about, bro. Right. Like, you know? Right, you're like, um, I, yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. I'm like, I had no clue even what these are, bro. Like, that's the thing. I'm like, this space is so big. Like, people will come at you like, yo, check out this coin, this coin. What you think about this? What about that? I'm like, bro, I there's no way I can know everything. There's 7,000 of these projects listed, and I'm sure there's still another 10,000 that are not even listed anywhere yet. So, like I said, well, what that means is just – more opportunity, more, more potential it. free money. Because, uh, and also, 